Good morning children. Today we shall learn about negative exponents, especially when we are multiplying two numbers having the same base. So we already know how to multiply numbers when the powers are whole numbers. Here we see the bases are same and they are negative numbers but the powers are whole numbers. Two and 3. So what is minus 5 to the power 2? It is minus 5 square and it can be written as minus 5 multiplied by minus 5 and here we have minus 5 to the power 3 or you can say minus 5 cube and this can be written as minus 5 multiplied by minus 5 multiplied by minus 5. So what do we see here? We see minus 5 is multiplied 5 times. So this becomes minus 5 into minus 5 into minus 5 into minus 5 into minus 5 and we write it as minus 5 to the power 5. So this was law 1 in which we already know if x is a rational number and a and b that is the power are whole numbers then x to the power a multiplied by x to the power b is equal to x to the power a plus b which means you just add the powers in case the bases are same. Now you might think what happens when a and b are negative numbers. So let us see. If you remember third law of exponents then if a is a rational number and m is any whole number then a to the power minus m is actually equal to 1 divided by a to the power m. So now let us look at the negative exponents. 2 to the power minus 6 multiplied by 2 to the power minus 3. Here we see both the powers are negative. Now using this law a to the power minus m is equal to 1 divided by a to the power m. So what do we get? Here we get 2 to the power minus 6 can be written as 1 by 2 to the power 6. Same way 2 to the power minus 3 it is equal to 1 divided by 2 to the power 3 and this is same as 1 by 2 to the power 6 multiplied by 2 to the power 3. Now again remember x to the power a multiplied by x to the power b is equal to x to the power a plus b simply adding the powers. So this gets reduced to 1 2 to the power 9 because 6 plus 3 that is the power gets added so it becomes 1 by 2 to the power 9 and this is equal to we bring 2 to the power 9 in the numerator so it becomes 2 to the power minus 9. So what do we see? If x is a rational number and a and b are integers then the law holds true that x to the power a multiplied by x to the power b is equal to x to the power a plus b. Let us see more examples. 2 to the power minus 6 multiplied by 2 to the power minus 3. What do we do? We just add the powers. So minus 6 plus minus 3 becomes minus 9 the power. So we get the answer 2 to the power minus 9. Here we have 2 to the power 6 multiplied by 2 to the power 3. If we see 6 and 3 are integers and we can just add them. So it becomes 2 to the power 9. Let us solve more examples. Here we have 4 to the power minus 3 multiplied by 4 to the power 7. 
one is a negative power here and the other is positive number so this becomes equal to 4 to the power minus 3 multiplied by 4 to the power 7 and here we just add the powers so what do we get in the power we get minus 3 plus 7 and what is minus 3 plus 7 equal to minus 3 plus 7 is equal to 4 so we get the answer as 4 to the power 4 now let us see more examples we have 5 to the power 3 multiplied by 5 to the power minus 4 the bases are same so just add the power or the exponent so it becomes equal to 5 to the power 3 plus minus 4 and we know 3 plus minus 4 means it is actually equal to 3 minus 4 and 3 minus 4 is equal to minus 1 so we get the answer here as 5 to the power minus 1 this can be written as 1 by 5 to the power 1 which is actually equal to 1 by 5 so we get the answer as 1 by 5 so remember children if x is a rational number and a and b are integers then we can say x to the power a multiplied by x to the power b is equal to x to the power a plus b so this law holds true not just for a b as whole numbers but also for a and b as integers that's all for now bye bye children